seven eight minutes uh, before the markets would close and uh, down 108 odd points it's not looking that great for the markets every attempt that markets have seen in terms of recovery has been going uh, has has been uh, led by further selling pressure so globally news from china other global markets not that great domestically what's happening in parliament or the monsoon session of parliament is also not something to cheer about rupee is going back to the levels of 65 and uh, other global markets which are opening in uh, in mid afternoon like the european ones cac 40 f for FTSE 100 are also not supporting the markets. Volumes are high. Results that are coming in from the mid-cap space are not looking that great. Rupee closer to the 65 odd levels also is something which uh, would not uh, please the street. And that's why that reaction of 100, 110 odd points in terms of decline. Uh, Ruchit Jain, equity technical analyst at Angel Broking is now with us. Ruchit, uh, a view on the market, uh, the sort of sell-off that we've seen in the last two days, especially today, you think open up, uh, uh, opens up channels for further decline? Good afternoon, Pankaj. Uh, well, uh, the markets have, although have declined from last two trading sessions, but you have seen that the market breadth, which has be, uh, been a leading indicator in the markets, have started declining from last four five trading sessions. So there is a market breadth, uh, negative market breadth from already from four five trading sessions, and now Nifty has neared this uh, 8300, 8315 uh, support zone. What usually happens near uh, near such crucial support zones, your market breadth tends to diverge from the uh, from the broader trend. This means that if this 8315, 8320 had to uh, this support had to be taken place and Nifty had to reverse from here, probably we should not we, uh, we should not have seen such negative market breadth as the as uh, it is indicating today. So this is the indication first indication that uh, this 8315, 8300 support uh, support zone is likely to be breached and we may go further lower up to. 8200 or 8150 80, zone. So probably we are uh, not uh, buying uh, into the markets, although it is uh, it is at its support level. And uh, stock specific or sector specific, uh, the trends which uh, we are seeing uh, selling in banking, mid cap, and buying in uh, IT stocks, this may continue to do so for next few trading sessions. So how would you uh, trade this market? Uh, is it uh, you know really? Uh, you know, if, if somebody wants to sell the market, it's, it's already too late. Uh, should one wait for bounces or even at uh, the current levels or the sort of, uh, uh, you know, nifty levels that we are at, one can go ahead and take fresh short positions. I think if anyone wants to take a sell call in nifty, uh, then this is not the level to go short in nifty. But uh, definitely bank nifty has uh, broken its uh, support level of 18,200 and the large cap banking stocks are uh, uh, are looking weak from current levels also so i think bank nifty is uh, the uh, bank nifty is the you know uh, uh, index which could go down further and one can create short positions in either bank nifty or in components of the bank nifty but we have been suggesting our clients since last couple of days is to go long in uh, stocks of IT sector which has uh, which have consolidated and have shown uh, positive momentum. Also uh, due to rupee depreciation uh, generally we, uh, we see that the momentum picks up in IT sector. So probably we have uh, suggestions sector specific or stock specific uh, trades to our clients wherein we are long in uh, IT and we are short in banking. And we are continuing to do so as we think that next few days uh, this trend would uh, continue. So rather than creating any position in Nifty index, I think there are opportunities in other index such as IT and uh, Bank Nifty, uh, which would continue the, the momentum as we have seen today. Right. Uh, Ankit Agarwal, Vice President, Fund Manager at Centrum Broking is also now with us. Good afternoon, Ankit. Uh, just before the closing, can you tell us what is the view uh, that you make of the markets, the correction today? Uh, still, you expect further downside move to continue on Nifty? Yeah, so the market has uh, obviously taken a correction basis, uh, you know, what has happened in China and, and probably, uh, you know, export-oriented sectors which are competing uh, with the ones or the Chinese companies in the global market are probably taking a hit uh, in this current uh, downturn. Uh, our sense is that, you know, a lot of companies which have good business models where they are market leaders in their specific businesses or they are into niche businesses which have also corrected as a result of this uh, fall in the markets do provide some good opportunity to accumulate at these levels and uh, you know selectively we can uh, uh, begin accumulating uh, into some of these uh, you know uh, mid-sized companies or uh, you know companies with niche business models whose fundamentals continue to remain strong uh, at this level markets uh, will we believe will continue to remain range bound Right, uh, Ankit. How would you look at uh, how would you look at the mid cap space? The first correction that we are seeing over there is that a buying opportunity, or uh, you know, you would still wait for the mid cap index to cool off a bit? 
Yeah, so, uh, you know, we have seen a good correction in the mid-cap space uh, over the last couple of days and some of the good companies, uh, you know, well-managed firms have also seen correction anywhere ranging from 5 to 10 percent. And, uh, you know, that gives us comfort that, uh, you know, valuations in uh, some of these mid-caps which had become, uh, you know, slightly uh, expensive uh, have now corrected and provide us uh, some good opportunities to accumulate uh, at, this, at this level. Uh, Ankit, just stay on with us. Ruchit, stay on with us. About one minute remaining for closing. Uh, let's just look at the markets. 8,349 uh, is where Nifty is. It's down a full 112 odd points. The mid cap index is down about 2.2%, and uh, the small cap index is even down further. SBI on your screen, results came out yesterday. It was down 5%. It's down 4% today. 256 for SBI. Tata Motors down about 3.5%, 356. 11 million shares traded. That's a big uh, sell off coming in over there. Sun Pharma, it's quite interesting numbers were in line it went up five percent in the morning it's closing in 2.9 percent higher but uh, still uh, it, it is quite uh, off the day's high Infosys you saw earlier on your screen was up three percent ONGC absolutely flat ONGC by the way declares numbers tomorrow NMDC numbers came out yesterday down about three odd percent Tech Mahindra or the entire IT pack was doing well they are big beneficiaries of rupee depreciation and I think that's uh, playing out on the investors mind idea cellular up about 0.68 of a percent 162 reliance down about 2.4 942 BPCL down 6%. Uh, oil marketing companies did lose out quite a bit today, and uh, you know, oh, the, the overall uh, oil marketing companies were the, were the key reasons, uh, you know, why, why you saw a disappointment despite good numbers. The other space was the, was the metal name you saw uh, Vedanta down 7%, Hindalco down about 7%, BPCL down about 6%, 868. Uh, Coal India results uh, should come out anytime soon, probably. Uh, you know, say about 4, 4, 35 percent decline K in India. It's got to do with what's happening in crude, 5 percent down. SPI results came out yesterday. You heard the management this morning and after that, it's down about 4 to 5 odd percent. Indusind Bank, 908 rupees, 4.4 odd percent decline. Bosch Limited, uh, down about 4 odd percent. Numbers came out yesterday during market hours. 1,100 rupees down, 25,480 for Bosch uh, Limited. Volumes of about 26,000. Tata Motors continues to be on the losing side, 3.4 percent decline 356 ICICI back back to the 290 levels 3.3 percent on the lower side uh, 9 million shares traded HPCL it was of course uh, uh, the, uh, uh, it, was, it was of course a results reaction uh, that came in for HPCL superb set of numbers but the name was down seven IOC down seven percent BPCL we saw earlier was down about five so most of the oil marketing companies lost out uh, because of the numbers and uh, the sustainability of these numbers or the one-time gain uh, that we saw into these numbers it, it, it was looking quite strong but then uh, it, it never really lasted Tata Steel, uh, on the other hand, was a result reaction that uh, ended up positively. Actually, it's a metal name and quite surprising because the other metal companies were not doing that well. 249 towards close. Oil India results were out just about half an hour back. I think it's a reaction to that. 453.9. Broadly in line, no major, uh, you know, uh, no major upgrade or downgrade expected. India Cement numbers were decent. Subex Limited down 11% after numbers. 23 million shares, but majority of this volume came in in the last half an hour. That's when you got these numbers. Numbers. Alembic Limited, again, a results reaction, 5% decline, 9 uh, lakh plus shares traded. It's not a very well traded counter. Uh, GE Shipping, absolutely flat, no major changes after the numbers came in. Volume did spike, but that's a case that you generally tend to see. Aditya Birla Nuvo down about half a percent, 2,223, 4.5 lakh shares traded for Aditya Birla Nuvo. City Union Bank, that's a 230 factor stock. We spoke to the management, they gave us details. It was not looking that bad. On the other hand, IDBI, gross NPAs were not looking that great, 4% decline. Voltas and other results reaction, it's been a seesaw uh, swing for Voltas. It uh, went to the levels of 280 and then uh, closed at about uh, 298 uh, odd levels. Uh, we were talking to Ruchit as well as Ankit, they are still with us. Ruchit, uh, let me come to you first. Uh, you were talking about the IT pack. Uh, I want to talk about names like Infosys, Tech, Mahindra, HCL Tech. They were all up 3% today. You think there is a further up move left in these large cap names? Some of the numbers were not that great though. Now, Pankaj, in spite of uh, you know, the numbers that were out, we have seen that these stocks have not reacted negatively. And uh, after a consolidation uh, zone in the last two or three months, now the momentum has picked up on the positive side. Probably Infosys and Wipro, these two are the top, uh, these two are our top picks which we have uh, recommended to our traders. 
uh, tech mahindra we are not so bullish uh, on this stock because uh, technically there is a huge gap area on the upside uh, which would act as a resistance uh, going ahead so probably we are uh, expecting this up move in the it to continue uh, since it has uh, given a upside breakout after a consolidation zone and infosys in tech mahindra i think from current levels also they would continue to do well right uh, ankit what would be your view on the it names would you like to take uh, a bet on the it pack because of the rupee and the depreciation over there yeah definitely uh, you know the rupee depreciation does provide uh, you know comfort uh, in the sector and especially in this area of volatility the it sector could be uh, something that could continue to outperform and uh, you know we believe that the large cap it space in that segment uh, provide a greater comfort as far as valuations are concerned and vis-a-vis uh, -vis the mid cap peers and that is where we believe that there is still opportunity uh, in the large cap it space ankit how would you look at a name like uh, tata motors i mean you know a play on china china is slowing down a play on exports uh, or probably european market but again uh, that's where uh, you know you would have a lot of competition now coming in uh, domestic market okay is looking fine but uh, you think china the concerns over there will all get uh, is, is, is you know yet to weigh on the counter I think without talking stock specific uh, you know what I would like to say is that uh, when it comes to China and the you know concerns that the market is raising probably some of these concerns could be uh, uh, slightly over emphasized and uh, uh, you know the, the stocks a uh, lot of the stocks uh, have uh, you know corrected basis uh, the uh, the decline in sentiment that we have seen in China and uh, you know uh, the growth slowdown that we have seen in China so somewhere I think uh, valuations have reasonably corrected to reflect uh, uh the you know uh, coming down of sentiment in china and the slowdown that is happening and i think a uh, lot of stocks in uh, you know sectors which are represent in either china or have uh, demand uh, coming out from china would uh, see some sort of a bottoming out uh, at the current levels uh, i think there could be some good opportunity uh, coming in uh, some of the stocks uh, present in the space right uh, you know again uh, you know if you could just talk about uh, coal india not giving a buy or sell but uh, all the commodity stocks were selling down coal india was not selling down but today even that went down you think that uh, that's an aberration if with with what's happening in the metals pack possibly it could could be an aberration uh, with what's happening in the metal pack and you know considering uh, the production numbers that the company has been giving which have improved significantly over the last uh, uh, you know few quarters i think uh, there is uh, definitely uh, uh, you know uh, definite positive sentiment uh, with the stock uh, you know if we exclude uh, today's move right uh, ankit thank you so much uh, for joining us here uh this afternoon hope you have a great day uh going ahead richard always a pleasure talking to you thank you so much uh, for uh, being with us all right let's uh, go back to the big uh, story that we've been tracking corporate india joining and signing an online petition asking uh, for parliament to function